What's up, cousins? Hey, y'all. <laughs> so we're back with another random game that I just put together. Mm -hmm, like if, she usually does. If y'all know, normally I put like questions in a hat and we got to answer it. So this, this time I took five sticky notes and we just wrote random five questions. Each. Five each. So mm -hmm. we got a total of 20, 10, look, 10 questions that we have to answer. Okay. Um, I did five. J Mills did five. And I told her to do, it could be as random as... What's your favorite color to like the extreme like thought out question? What's an extreme thought out question? Um, is the world flat or round? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> all right, so. So you're gonna pull first? I have them all mixed up. Nope, you're gonna go first. So I have them all mixed up and we have the, so like the questions are here and then we're looking at it from this point. So we don't know who wrote what and we're just gonna pick and read and both of us will answer the question. Very tech savvy here what you did <laughs> okay mm -hmm. this is my question because this is my okay. handwriting what's the most fun childhood memory or childhood memories that you have the most fun childhood memories that i have <laughs> what am i about to say about this pool in new york <laughs> <laughs> it's when like my grandfather bought um a pool for our backyard we were living in long island new york and that was just like everything for me because you know i went to the ymca as a kid and then like we had a birthday party and girl you just had a pool in your backyard <laughs> she <laughs> let tell everybody about that pool in her backyard <laughs> what about you okay so i answered too mm -hmm. okay i feel like mine is like real southern i don't know okay so I remember this. I don't. I don't know. It must have been when I was like staying with my grandmother, or maybe like my mom and I lived with my grandmother up until I want to say I was like maybe four. And I remember on weekends like waking up to like fried fish. Like so, we'll be in the kitchen frying fish, and like maybe my aunts will come over, cousins, and my aunt who lived with us, she actually had a garden outside so she would be picking tomatoes to make fried green tomatoes and we would have fish grits and fried green tomatoes and i don't know what it is it's just like thinking about like waking up in the morning you can kind of hear everyone downstairs and maybe running downstairs and it just felt like like when i think about like family like that like i think about them how often did y'all do that I don't know. You know how when you think about it, you're like, oh, that was like every weekend. But I don't know how often, but just when I think about my childhood, I think about that memory a lot. Does fried fish go with spaghetti? No. Yes, it definitely does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it You does. just tried that like last week. No, I have not. You you tried that recently, like within no, the last year, I before thought. Before I met you. Girl, no. I don't know what kind of Midwestern thing that is. Um. Okay, my turn? Yes. Peck or tongue kiss? <laughs> Girl, you are so dramatic. But why are we picking our own? Um, I think I'm a, a peck. You are definitely a peck. A pecker. <laughs> I'm a pecker. <laughs> Your tongue is like more inviting. Like, you know, you find the last time I find mine. I like a little peck. <laughs> Just on a random? Like, hey, yeah. how was your day? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Well, thanks for the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, favorite body part on your wife? Do so um, you want me to tell? We're going to tell each other. My favorite body part on like, you. Yes. Okay. What's <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? <laughs> What's your favorite body part of my? Oh, uh, my favorite feature of yours. I do love your lips. That little that, that top lip is bigger than that little. <laughs> that top lip big. I like it, and you have a very nice cupid's bow. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Did you know that was for five hundred? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> mm hmm. For me, I'm gonna have to go with the buns, hun. <laughs> the buns, hun. <laughs> <laughs> the honey buns. I actually did not know how big my backside was <laughs> until after my breast reduction. And I don't know if it was a combination of pregnancy weight and that, or if it was always big. It was um, always big. <laughs> <laughs> so that now, thing just be thanking. I look back now, I'm like, that thing really is. That's like a little wagon. <laughs> I ain't know I ain't know I was pulling all that. I ain't mad at it. 
No, I can hear my mom now. So, do your back hurt? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the weirdest thing you do? I wrote that. <laughs> The weirdest. Let them know. The weirdest <laughs> thing I do. What's the weirdest thing I do? I think I like have an issue with like repeating things. <laughs> back, you don't have to laugh like that. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Very much like that. Like, and I just can't stop until Jamila be like, all right now. All right now. So like if I watch the show and it was like a, a nice punchline, I'm gonna say it over and over and over again. And then she gets Harper into it and then she's saying it over and over. And Holland's learning how to talk. And then Holland's mimicking it over and over and over again. It could be a sound, it could be a phrase, it could be a word. And I just can't stop myself. Like I literally have to start talking to myself in my head like, just stop it. Just say it one more time. You think that's the weirdest thing you did? Yeah. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing? You did? I don't know. I don't really think I do anything weird. Oh, Chris. <laughs> okay, what do you think that I do that's weird? You walk around the house and go, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> No, that reminds me of Holland. Me and her go, <laughs> like little chick bones. Okay, so you don't have So then at night when I miss her, I make that sound to myself because I be missing her. So you don't think you have any weird behavior? Um I think I I do some extensive grooming. (laughs) This woman (laughs) will get out of the bed, jump out of the bed to go tweeze a bump or whatever you need to do. Yes, it bothers me. Like if I feel an ingrown hair anywhere on my body, I really want to teach you how to do them so you can get like the ones underneath my arm. She will just like you could just be like cuddling, watching a movie, and it just hops up and goes. And goes. I can't sleep with that ingrown hair on me. All right, it gotta go. You go. <laughs> One unpopular opinion. I'm not a Rihanna fan, nor am I press about her going to the Super Bowl, like, what's the big deal? I want to let you guys know, I know that we're married, but I I think my wife should have very separate thoughts and identity. Um, Savage, I'm your girl. Fenty Beauty, I am your girl. I am a Rihanna fan. Yes, Savage is popping. I'm just speaking her as her as a music artist. I'm a fan. Okay. Yeah. Now Savage Fenty, I do like their stuff. Don't 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 no, <laughs> don't I... clean it up now. Nah. Um let me see. What's an unpopular opinion? What? I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that's like unpopular. Like I, I do hot takes. I think all my hot takes make sense. On TikTok. Um, unpopular opinion. Who's someone that I just can't get into? I don't know. I don't know. I know some people's unpopular opinion is about Aaliyah, and I am an Aaliyah stan account. Like, <laughs> do not talk about Aaliyah. I don't know. All right, so you're passing on that? Yeah, I think I got to pass on it. Favorite song right now? Um, the song I was thinking about. He could be an unpopular opinion. Chris Brown has a song. What's it? Under the influence. What? How does the song go? You a fucking roller <laughs> That one? Yeah. I don't know why you got me feeling like that. Yeah. That song is stuck in my head. Okay, because twenty-four it's hours a day. Um. My favorite song is almost every song on the Renaissance album. Oh, Beyonce's whole album. Like, it's a vibe. 10 out of 10. Like, Alien Superstar was written for me. I think I wore Break On Soul Out, but like, it's still a good dance vibe. Like, it still makes me vibe a little bit. Yeah, and I could play the whole album from start to finish. I actually don't like to listen to it out of order. Yeah, it's I like to listen to it in order. Yeah, if you don't like Renaissance, um, hmm. 
Why are your eyes? <laughs> Ooh, that's is it my, my turn? That's my eyes. All right, playing with you. Okay. Does that say current addiction? Mm -hmm. Is your hair ready? Yes. <laughs> current addiction. I'm addicted to Brussels sprouts. Oh my goodness, yes. They got me in a chokehold, okay? Yes. I'm trying to think. I went through a sushi phase. All I wanted was sushi. Um, we're in a fried rice phase right now. Well, we've been eating a lot of fried rice. I don't feel addicted. Like, I crave. You crave Brussels sprouts? Brussels. So what's something that I crave? And then I do crave, like, shopping. Like, I have to at least have, like, a package once a week. Like, it's just... What you be talking about? Me and my packages? I mean, I, I'm okay with just one. You have seven arrive in one day. I... That, I don't, I don't, you have no proof. There's no proof. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll see if I can find the picture. Leading the witness. I'm always going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, current addiction. I guess I was just thinking about it with food. I, um, I'm always addicted to like an Italian sub. I always want an Italian sub, but I can't really have that much sodium like that or processed foods. But I crave. Look, just gonna say me. <laughs> Is that how you look? I was like, why? Then you looking at me. Oh, just gonna say me. Because I always want to be a budget. Yes. Guy. Yeah, like maybe like a couple hours a day. I'm like, I want to be like up under you. If I'm in the shower, she's like peeking. No, I'll be having something to talk to her about. Like, I gotta tell you something. All right. What's your favorite thing about me? <laughs> Did we already ask this? So we had, yes. the, oh, we had the favorite body part. Okay. Okay, so maybe like attribute. Okay, my favorite thing about Jamila is that she is super duper smart. Like, really? yes, like, and she's like a great communicator. And because she's so smart, like you, she can turn one thing and it can kind of like, I don't know what I'm saying, but like you can talk about it in different waves. Like different, different perspectives. Opinions. Right, yes. <laughs> See? So like she can just take one thing and give you so many different perspectives that you just walk That's away sad. like, huh, I didn't think about it like that. That's my favorite thing to do. I love when people tell me that. And then if she doesn't make you feel bad about not thinking like that, or even like, I will give Jamila a lot of credit for like my vocabulary because she's like the one person who I felt comfortable with like, hey, what does that mean? Yeah, or, like, like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> or like, let's talk through some words. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I really <laughs> admire that. Like, I feel very trusted with Jamila. Mm. Even though when she first met me, she said I was boring because I would sleep in bed with books. Them books make you smart, girl. And I would be watching HGTV. Them books make you smart, <laughs> and, and Holly loves a good book, so she passed that Holly right does love to read. All right. All she I was to say about you. You know what? what? I think that you're very sweet. Really? Yeah, you're very sweet. And you're also very forgiving. Yeah. Now, I'll be mad. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'd be mad for you. <laughs> so I'd be wanting you to still be mad. I think you're very forgiving. I actually think that we're the best balance because where I'm very direct and very decisive, and sometimes because I'm so decisive, I just want to go ahead and make a decision and like keep it moving. It could be the wrong decision because you um, take a long time to think before you make this decision. You done seen all sides. <laughs> before that decision is made. So I think we have the best balance. Yes. That's probably why we can still be like wives, baby mamas, and business partners. All the ones. What's your favorite movie to watch? I don't even know why I wrote that. What's my favorite movie to watch? Hmm. So maybe not your favorite movie ever, but this movie you could watch time and time and time again. The Best Man Holiday. You do really love that movie. <laughs> yeah, I can't watch it. It's, it's too sad. Like, I get to a point where, like, Love and Basketball is one of my favorite movies, but every time Q gets mad at Monica for meeting her curfew, when he would have turned around and did the same thing, I gotta turn that movie off. Because how's she gonna show up to the apartment and he's getting ready and talking to her like everything's normal and he's getting ready to go out on a date? 
But see, sometimes you gotta soak in these like movies because like I don't like how the Best Man Holiday end, ended, but it's like a good, like when you need to get out of cry, I know I'm gonna cry. So, you know, sometimes it's the opportune time to cry in front yeah. of public or just like, I mean, in front of my family or just lay down and cry. And then it makes you appreciate your friends. I always gain appreciation from my friends watching that. My movie, I can watch, I can pretty much watch Brown Sugar no matter what kind of mood I'm in. It doesn't make me mad because there was like communication things going on, but I think each person had really good intentions. Um, that was a really, really good movie. What's okay? Favorite. I got to throw in one since we're talking about movies. What is like a series that you will always recommend that you can watch over and over again? That's a good one. What's yours? Um, as far as a series, I will watch and recommend again. Like, my favorite was Star, but I wouldn't recommend that because the way it ends, I'm still getting it! Does it have to be an old series or can it be fairly new? It can be whatever. Okay, so, like, for me, sometimes, well, a lot of the time, because especially even after I had Holland, I can't get, like, emotionally wrapped up in shows. Like, my anxiety could be, like, through the roof. Sometimes you just want to throw on something that you don't really have to pay attention to, but it's still really mm -hmm. good. Sweet Magnolias. <laughs> I don't know what I love a good girl in a country town. I don't know what it is. Um, like I'm a Gilmore girl, Sweet Magnolias. We used to watch that one show that came on the CW where the girl was a doctor and then she moved to this. Um, oh, the mayor show? Yeah, the, the mayor town. show. And then the doctor in that also plays in this river, something river on Netflix. And that's a good show. Just like real easy shows if i could recommend i had to think about it it would definitely be the power series the the one that you with, watch again and again yep yeah, with Tariq, the one that's just based off him oh and, power book two maybe? yes is that with that's mary called? j blosh that's like i really want to rewatch that actually. no yeah like that that is like amazing tv it's really good but that's gonna have your heart racing it's really good though one series like like it makes me think like Kevin Hart when he did that series that um, limited series with Wesley Snipes oh yeah 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 so that I, I made the mistake of watching that right after my breast reduction and because I was like on the edge and highly medicated it had my heart like breathing real fast but it was a good series yeah time and time again I always watch Sex in the City I really like watching Girlfriends again living See, single Jamila will start a series with me and then she'll stop like you still have haven't finished Pose. You still haven't watched the Power Book with Kanan. So Pose I couldn't finish because um, when we knew Billy Porter wasn't gonna make it, I just couldn't emotionally watch that. And I don't know, I think I think a lot of people, I think I've seen a TikTok on this where you kind of get, you've like invested so much time into a series because I was watching it late. So I was like, um, that's the word when you watch it all at once. Binge watching. I was binge watching it. And so it became my every day. And so I, I couldn't see it end. And I couldn't see Billy Porter die. And so I just never watched the last episode. And I do that a lot, actually. And I like P-Valley. I love P-Valley. P-Valley was really good. I can't watch that again and again, but it's good. It's really good. Like, you you will want to be a stripper. Specifically. Mercedes, because we act like we have a pole sometimes, and we do the Mercedes song. Yeah, one time we put the song on Seven and Pounds of Pressure. We we reenacted that. Yeah, you know, it was pretty fun. Good, my God. Okay, what's the weirdest dream you have had? I think the are we thinking like weird, like scary, freaky, or like just like so close to home, like you're like anything. Hmm. Weirdest dream. Good question. Oh, you go first. Um, okay, so I will admit that like interview with a vampire and Anne Rice did have me obsessed with vampires. But now I have to be careful what I watch, especially late at night, because I'll dream about it. And we were watching, I don't know, First Kill or something, whatever that show is on Netflix. And I had a dream that we were all vampires except for Holland. <laughs> And we had to make the decision. This is serious. This was during the apocalypse and we were in an abandoned house. And we were, no, we weren't quite vampires yet, but the vampires were Roman. And we had a choice to either become the vampires or by eaten by the vampires. And we had to make the decision. So, of course, we were like moving through the house trying to figure out, trying to not like get killed. And we had to figure out if we were going to turn Holland into a vampire. And it was just like so sad. Did you tell her from this dream? No. Oh, okay. Because one day I've heard her say something about that. 
that. So maybe we are. There, there have been nights before where me, Harper, and Holland all had a bad dream. Mm -hmm. And that was like really strange to me because it just felt like, how are we all having bad dreams and we can't sleep? I think like speaking on that level, um, my dream was kind of creepy because this was like right after I had my wisdom teeth removed and I was on oxy. Ox no, it was either the tromadol or oxy or whatever. I can't believe they sent you home with oxy. That's crazy. Um, so I like watch American Horror Stories. Like I like Ryan Murphy. You know, I like some of the things that he puts out. Um, and I just kept like if you guys know American Horror Story, you know how it first comes the intro and it's like a bunch of creepy stuff. Like the <laughs> intro alone gives me nightmares. Yeah, I was like in the intro like of it. Like that was crazy. You never told me that you yes. had a dream in the intro. Yeah, I was like re. It was a reoccurring mm -hmm. dream. Like I it's kept... like weird things like dolls and all eyeballs. Mm -hmm. and, ugh. Yeah. No, thank you. But I I can watch those type of movies, crime shows like right before bed, and I'm normally not. Yeah. No, whatever I watch before bed, I always dream about. So I have to be real careful about what I watch. Uh, well, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys, um, I think everybody should just pick a question and drop your answer to that I question. I like that. Yeah. Below. I like that. All right, y'all. Later. Later.